Welcome. In- oh man, sorry about that. Welcome into with balls. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm Jeff Michael, your host, as always. Uh, man, dude, what a week! What a weekend it was, man. Ah, I can't hear the music in my headphones, so I'm hoping that it's all uh, it's all going well. But good afternoon, good evening, good morning, if you're tuning in. Uh, this morning as the podcast version, appreciate you. If you're watching live, leave a comment, if you will, I'll get to it as soon as possible. We're on every single social media outlet, pretty man. There's a ton of them. We're on. Welcome to sports with balls. I'm Jeff Michael. So much to go over, uh, this afternoon. I'll try to hit everything. We're going to knock into, uh, what NFL. Obviously, the games this weekend, we'll touch on some college football games this weekend as well. The World Series is set. We'll tip off in a couple of days. And uh, NBA starting and NHL started. So, man, sports-wise, it's all going down. And uh, we'll try to get into as much as we can, dude. We will try to hit it. Uh, Let's hit on today's national holidays. As always, today is October the 22nd, National Nut Day. Yep, you heard it. National Nut Day. That's what it is. Uh, International Caps Lock Day, uh, if you like capital letters. Uh, International Stuttering Awareness. Hopefully I don't do that too much today. National Make a Dog's Day. Uh, All right. National Color Day. Scar Appreciation Day. Smart is Cool Day. Uh, Man, that's it. Dude, that is not a lot compared to what we usually have. These national holidays get out of hand. Today's not that bad. Uh, Go eat you some nuts, some almonds, some pistachios. (laughs) Shout out to a friend of mine who had a really bad experience with pistachios one time. I hope you're listening. (laughs) And smart is cool and scar appreciation. I don't see any big birthdays that you guys really want to get into, so uh, we'll just leave that alone. Uh, Yeah, man. There's none... That's it. Shaggy. Oh, man. I want. <laughs> I was supposed to be in a dance. This is a true story. I was supposed to be in a dance video with Shaggy. I won a dance contest in Jamaica when I was in my uh, in my teenage years, which is fun. My mom's got a great story about that. But happy birthday to Shaggy. Wish I could have been there. I wasn't allowed to go on that uh, New York trip. So uh, maybe next time. man. Maybe next time. All right, guys, let's get into it. NFL. I mean, first off, let's just hit, let's just hit the top headlines. Uh, Lions wide receiver. I don't know if you guys heard this or not, but Jamison Williams is suspended for two games. He's going to appeal. Uh, looks like he'll just take it on the chin. I don't know what this was. I don't know what substance this was. There is no, um, report on that. It just says he's facing a two game suspension for violating the NFL's performance enhancing substance policy. Now, I've seen people. I've seen people suspended for Adderall. I've seen people suspended for weed. I don't think that's as prevalent anymore. I don't know what performance enhancing drug this was. It doesn't look like Jamison Williams. Looks like Derrick Henry. So, but he's suspended for two games. I, this is rare. This, this is rare. Uh, I know that um, the last big one that I remember was um, uh. I forgot his name, uh, wide receiver for the uh, Titans now. Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins got suspended like eight games. And look, I, the Hopkins thing was completely wrapped up with that Deshaun Watson thing. But, um, yeah. Oh, well. We've got Lions wide receiver Jamison Williams, uh, two-game suspension. I believe he will start his suspension because they have a Thursday night game, I think. So, uh, yeah. He'll start that ASAP performance enhancing. I don't know. I can't tell you what it was. He says, this is a quote from him. No choice but to take it on the chin. I'm in good spirits, just ready to get back with my brother's ASAP. That's it. And then, uh, Coach Campbell, all I can tell you is we're prepared not to have him, and we'll be fine. So there you go. That's uh, <laughs> that's as much as I know as far as the suspension for Mr. Williams. But uh, the Lions who are probably one of the best teams in all of football. You know, I'm going to do I'm going to start my top 5 and bottom 5 uh this week. I'll probably do that on Thursday. So uh stay tuned for that. There's a lot of movement in that by the way. 
So Lions wide receiver facing a two game suspension. Deshaun Watson out for the season, torn Achilles. There was a lot of uproar about the Browns fans booing him as he was carted off the field. I'm not going to comment. I don't want to get myself in trouble. <laughs> I just, it is what it is, man. Um, I, I look. My whole thing was, I told you guys, uh, say it over and over and over. He's not mentally capable of running that position anymore, the quarterback position in the NFL. Do I think it's okay to boo him while he's injured? No. But uh, I, I just wonder if this is the end for Deshaun Watson. I, I We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, the Bucks, man. My goodness. Chris Godwin. Gone for the year. Out. See ya. And to make it worse, Mike Evans completely had that ball in his hands last night and you could tell something popped in his leg the way he grabbed his hamstring after he was down uh i wouldn't expect mike evans to be back in little, until they make the playoffs uh, six to eight weeks I, I mean and depending on the severity uh, we don't know but it didn't look good and even coach bowl says it didn't look good if something popped if his hamstring popped he will not be right the entire season and you talk about a team they were trending in the right direction. The Buccaneers were looking good. And Baker was playing fantastic. And you have two top two top wide receivers, probably a top wide receiver in the league, and Mike Evans go down, and you're done. I, I wouldn't expect the Bucs to be favored in too many games after this. It just uh, gut-wrenching if you are a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. Absolutely gut-wrenching. They lose both their number one and number two wide receivers in the same game. Uh, who else had injuries last night? Jalen Watson for the Chiefs. Uh, he'll have a, he's out for the season. Surgery on his fibula and tibia. It's their cornerback. The Chiefs like the injuries this year in the NFL have been unfreaking believable. I, I, I don't remember a year. There's injuries every year, right? And there's big ones. Uh, last year, we had Aaron Rodgers. We, like, there was a couple of them that were big. This year, it seems like everyone is going down. It, it's, uh, it's brutal. It is really, really brutal. And we're only in week seven, eight. It is, um, it's not good. It's not good. I don't know how to, how to stop the injuries because, obviously, it is a brutal, brutal sport. But. It just seems this year we're like we've got way more injuries than we usually do, uh, and they are brutal. To a tag of Iowa. looks like he's going to come back and not wear the extra padded helmet. I mean, he's got an injury. Well, <laughs> he had an injury, and I guess, I guess he's back. That he <laughs> he will be practicing in full this week and fully expects to play this coming up week. Uh, I forgot if they're playing. We'll get into the schedule here in a minute, but I'm just going over the injuries and whoo, man. The Bucks, or I'm sorry, the Browns, after that, Deshaun Watson are signing Bailey Zappi off of the Chiefs practice squad. So they need another quarterback as well. Brandon, uh, and here, let's talk about the uh, San Francisco 49ers now with their injuries. We just talked about the Bucks. Now the 49ers, Brandon Ayuk tore his ACL and MCL. So he's gone for the season. Debo Samuel only played three plays, was throwing up, and he's in the hospital with pneumonia from what we can tell now that being said christian mccaffrey said to come said he should be back next week so there's a bit of good news but with mccaffrey back you lose a uke that offense is not the same with that with debo samuel not in it it is just not the same when you don't have debo samuel in that san francisco offense uh you're very limited in what you can do as far as Shanahan's concerned. I think a lot of his schemes run through Debo, and man, if he's not playing, San Francisco looks like they're in trouble. Now, I'm not saying San Francisco's out of it. You get Debo Samuel 100% healthy. You get Christian McCaffrey back 100% healthy. Maybe pick up Cooper Cup or somebody that's uh, on the trade market for to replace Ayuk. Uh, San Francisco's right back where they want to be. Uh, San Francisco is a Super Bowl contender. Their record doesn't really look like it right now. There's a lot of heat on Purdy. But we'll see. We'll see what plays out. They've got injuries as well, man. It is just the, the injury bug in the NFL this year has just been brutal. Now, there's people saying there's hip drop tackles going on that the refs aren't calling. I don't know. I haven't seen anything too brutal. Too brutal. But 
we did see a couple of uh, questionable ACL, MCL tears or ankles being broken this weekend. It, it was just a bad weekend as far as injuries are concerned. It just seems like every weekend now you see somebody, or not one, I'm sorry, two or three people getting carted off with brutal, brutal injuries. I just, man, I don't know how you get away from that. Play uh, flag football. I'm coaching that, so that's the reason I said that. <laughs> but, uh, all right, well, let's get into the scores. There's all the breaking news, at least uh, off the top of the board. Uh, over the weekend, we had the Patriots and the Jaguars on that early morning game on Sunday. Jags beat up on the lonely, lonely Patriots. But I tell you what, man, Drake May, Drake May, 26-37, 276 and two touchdowns. This is the second week in a row he's at over 250. Drake May looks good. I know they're playing the Jags. I get it. I get it. But Drake May looks good. He looks serviceable. How about that? He definitely looks serviceable. Seattle Seahawks, Atlanta Falcons. Good football game. The Seahawks win 34-14. to You had Metcalf out of this with a little bit of an injury as well. Looks like he has a grade one ankle injury. Uh, should be okay. But Metcalf had four receptions, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Kirk Cousins, 30, 24, 35, 232, and one touchdown. Uh, Seahawks dominated, 4-3, and three, and the Falcons are now 4-3. and three. Titans at the Bills, it went exactly how you thought it would go. The Titans are 1-5, and five, and they are on a complete rebuild. I believe in this game, DeAndre Hopkins had one pass thrown his way. It, is, it has been asked if he wants to get traded, and he says no. But the Bills... They, mat they added uh, Amari Cooper. It didn't matter. Um, 34 to 10. They scored 17 points in the fourth quarter. Really put the hammer down then. Bengals at the Browns. Joe Burrow and the Bengals are good. Guys, I don't, I'm going to say this week and week and week over. Like, Joe Burrow is having an MVP type season. He's on fire. They beat up on the Browns 21 14. Obviously, Deshaun Watson down with the Achilles injury out for the season. And I don't know, I don't know, but he may be out for his career. I, I, I know he probably won't be, and he's going to try to stage a comeback. But at this point, man, hang it up. That's my suggestion. I know it's not going to matter to anybody, but I would hang it up if I'm Deshaun Watson. You have got your money. There's no reason to go out there and risk any more injury. You had fans booing you as you were being carted off the field. Uh, I... <laughs> And I don't think wherever you go, it's going to get any better. Winning cures everything, and you cannot win in the NFL, Deshaun. I'm sorry. You have uh, – it's been a rough road. Halfway because you caused it. Halfway your talent isn't there anymore uh, or mental capability. But uh, if I'm Deshaun Watson, I hang up the cleats and going about my business. Uh, Bengals move to three and four. Uh, watch out for the Bengals. If, there is, if they sneak in the playoffs on the back end, uh, Bengals are going to be tough. Texas Texans at the Packers. I told you this game was going to be good. And I said that the Packers would probably come out on top. It's exactly what happened. Brutal game to watch. I mean, brutal. CJ Stroud with under 100 yards passing. In fact, under 90 yards passing. He was 10 of 21 for 86. Got sacked four times for 31 yards. Had a rating of 58.8. The lonely high spot for the Houston Texans, Joe Mixon. 25 carries, 115, two touchdowns. Uh, the running game, which I thought was suspect from the very beginning, which is weird that the running game is completely capable of handling any sort of pressure. They can run all over teams, apparently, but they cannot protect the quarterback. I, look, there's something there. They're good at blocking forward, terrible at blocking back. I, I, I'm assuming the offensive line coach is getting an ass chewing this week. I mean, look, but the rushing game, they had 142 yards rushing. But they, uh, look, C.J. Stroud's running all over this place. When it comes to protection for the uh, Houston Texans, it's not there. But good news is they're 5-2 and two still. Green Bay Packers 5-2. and two, And a lot of people's dark horse to win the Super Bowl or at least get there. Green Bay Packers, good football team. Good football team. They have got contributors all over the place. Romeo Dobbs, 94 yards. Mr. Wicks, 48 yards receiving. 
Josh Jacobs had five receptions, 16 yards receiving. Christian Watson, he didn't even make an impact. He only had two targets, nine yards. He can also blow the doors off, uh, off the uh, stadium. Uh, we'll see. Tank Dell for Houston, zero receptions, four targets. Dalton Schultz was the leading receiver with one reception for 28 yards for the Houston Texans. I it, it's I think there's they've got three games in 11 days for the Houston Texans, and then they play. This is a brutal schedule. So they've got the Colts coming up, who, by the way, surprisingly, pretty darn good team in Indianapolis, putting with injuries combined. Uh, the Colts look pretty good. They will be in Houston this weekend. That's no joke of a game. Then they've got the Jets. What is that? Four days later in New York who are going to uh, – the Jets need a bunch of wins. And if Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers get on the same page, that may be a tough game. Then, like I said, that's three games in 11 days. Right after that, they got the Lions and the Cowboys. Brutal, brutal stretch for the Houston Texans. Uh, they started off with a bunch of wins, so that will help them. But uh, hopefully – they can uh, rack up a win or two in that schedule because whenever you see that three games in 11 days, you can expect some L's coming out of that real, real fast. Dolphins at the Colts. I told you earlier, Tua Tagovailoa will make his, for fantasy owners, much anticipated return <laughs> to the football field. I'm being one of them because I don't think Jalen Waddell or Tyreek Hill had a reception this past week. It was it was not pretty for the Miami Dolphins. Colts, uh, Colts win sixteen to ten. Richardson ten of twenty four, one twenty nine, and just a return game for him. And in all honesty, a really easy return game for him. The Colts are four and three. If the Colts beat the Houston Texans this Sunday in Houston, they will be in first place in that division. That's right. The Indianapolis Colts, if they beat Houston in this upcoming game in Houston, they will be in first place. By the way, that game is only Texans minus five points. Uh, Vegas likes the Colts a lot as well. Lions and Vikings, game of the week. Uh, it's unbelievable football game to watch. Lions in Minnesota, handing Minnesota their first loss of the season. Jared Goff. They talk about Lamar, and we'll get into Lamar in a minute. But Jared Goff should be the leader for the MVP at this point. He was 22 of 25, 280, and two touchdowns. There is a stat out there that says the Detroit Lions have more touchdowns than incompletions. That's right. That I, and Over the first six games of the season, that's never happened before. Um, they, their offense is absolutely clicking. They have got weapons everywhere. Jared Goff gets that system. Dan Campbell has them running. It is a good, good football team. Super, they're up there. They are up there. I, you know, do the Lions play the Packers this year? Let me check this out. Or when do they play the Packers? That's it. Okay, in two weeks. I, I cannot wait to see that game. They have the Titans coming up. The Lions will play the Titans this Sunday. And then next Sunday in Lambeau, Lions at Packers. I cannot wait for that football game. I cannot wait for that football game. Now, by the way, Joe Applewhite, uh, great, great friend, just got back from Lambeau, said Green Bay fans might be the best fans in the NFL. So shout out to uh, Green Bay and uh, showing some love for the Houston Texans fans. Uh, Eagles beat the Giants 28-3. to Eagles quietly 4-2. and Giants, again, no touchdowns. Something Daniel Jones hadn't thrown a touchdown in New York uh, in 600 days or something. Got a lot of money, though. Raiders <laughs> Raiders at the Rams. Matt Stafford, iffy day. The Rams still win 20-15 to 15 because the Raiders are an absolute abysmal team. They are 2-5. and five. Go to – listen, go to Sports with Balls on all your social media outlets, especially Facebook, TikTok. Uh, Instagram, not so much, but Facebook and TikTok. The conversations that people have on here are fantastic. I post some good, some good stuff on there, and the, the banter back and forth is unbelievable. And I saw somebody defending the Raiders the other day, and I was like, really? Why don't you just say we're not good? <laughs> like, I get it, but uh, the Rams moved to 2-4. and four, The Raiders moved to 2-5. and five. <laughs> Just bad football. Madison being a... 
I guess, lonely standout for the Raiders. Madison's actually having a pretty decent season, if you will. Uh, moving forward, Panthers and Commanders. The Washington Commanders absolutely um, dismantled the Panthers, who are probably the worst team in the NFL. The big news on that was Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels has a rib injury considered week to week. We know they are going to baby the crap out of Jaden Daniels. He, they will not rush him back. Uh, I don't know exactly who they play this week. Let me look real fast. The Bears. Holy crap. Please let him play. I hope he's 100% healthy. I would love, I mean, that game. Wow. Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels going toe to toe. Uh, man. Wishing for Jaden Daniels to get healthy real, real fast. But they destroyed the Panthers 40-7. to Chiefs and 49ers, uh, great football game. Good football game. The Chiefs keep winning. They're the only undefeated team in the NFL. And they haven't. They don't even have a – they've had injuries everywhere. They don't even have receivers. It's just so shocking to watch the Kansas City Chiefs keep winning. Uh, you know, don't bet against Pat Mahomes. I swear it's like a, it's a plug and play offense. It's like Brady esque. It, it just, they put whoever they want anywhere and the chiefs keep winning. It's, it's obnoxious to a lot of fans. Brock birdie had a brutal day. 17 to 31, 212 with three picks, no interceptions. I mean, no touchdowns. Uh, just a bad day for Brock Purdy. Lost both of his, well, yeah. Debo went down early. That changes your offense. Then Brandon Ayuk went down late. Um, I just, ouch, ouch. 49ers are injured right now. Injured bad. They have four losses. So do the Cincinnati Bengals, and I would take the Bengals right now over them. Joe Burrow's on fire. Chiefs and the 49ers. Whew. Chiefs got the best of them again. And then last night, or I'm sorry, Sunday night, Steelers beat down the New York Jets, who fall to two. And I said this last week. This was a must-win game for the Jets. And they because that now they're two and five, one and three at home. Everybody was all pissed off about Russell Wilson starting for the Steelers. That got quiet real fast. I told y'all Russell Williams is a better quarterback. He is. Can Justin Fields do things that Russell can't? 100 percent But you can't tell me if you have Russell Wilson on your team who played fantastic towards the end of the year last year for Denver, that you're not starting him. Of course you are. He was rusty in the first half, as he should be, and then went went ham in the second. Aaron Rodgers, 24-39, 276, one touchdown. The Jets just have no defense, and they should. They should have a killer defense, and they do not. Najee Harris, 102 yards on the ground. George Pickens, 111 through the air. Russell Wilson going off. That's a tough team. They're 5-2. and two. The Pittsburgh Steelers, who everybody thought was just a rollover, maybe 500 team. Yeah, 5-2. and two. Steeler Nation, whoo, Ravens and Lamar Jackson last night, wow, threw up 41 on the Bucks. 41, this was a blowout, <laughs> there was some junk touchdowns at the end by Baker, who by the way, fantasy-wise, Baker went nuts, obviously so did uh, Lamar Jackson, but the stars shined, they had, look, the Baltimore Ravens had over 500 yards in offense last night. Derrick Henry at 169 on the ground. Lamar Jackson, what did he throw for? 281. 158 rating. Five touchdowns, no picks. It's just, it was one of those nights. Baker Mayfield had a great night. He had a great night. Threw two, uh, two, two picks. One of them was a tip ball. One of them ill-advised. But, man, dude. Baltimore looks good, too. There's some good football teams. There's a there's a lot of good football teams mixed in with some really bad football teams. That's why Vegas is not winning a lot of money these weeks. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people had their money on the Ravens. They won by 10. Buccaneers fall to 4-3. and three. Ravens 5-2. and two. Super Bowl contenders for sure. Uh, but you got to wait to the playoffs. You know, you, you had that same... Uh, <laughs> you had that same kind of, I guess, mentality when it comes to Baltimore. You know, can they get to the Super Bowl? We'll see. Chargers and Cardinals. Cardinals come back. They score 10 in the fourth quarter. Move to 3-4. and four. They win 17-15. to 15. I'm not going to say it was a barn burner. Here's the deal with this game. 
is that the Chargers, Justin Herbert, had tw- he was 27 to 39 for 350 yards and no touchdowns. Yeah. Weird. Weird game. James Conner, 19 carries, 101. Uh, the touchdowns were hard to come by. There was a lot of field goals. A lot of field goals. Kyler Murray had one touchdown. It was rushing. And he got a 44-yard rush for a touchdown, which was awesome. Um, that's about it, man. Uh, just the Chargers kicked the crap out of the football. Field goals, field goals, field goals. 15 to 17. Arizona's three and four. Chargers three and three. I neither one of those teams scare me at all. I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go, but it is what it is. By weeks, we're Bears and Cowboys, obviously. We will get into next week's games coming up uh, on Thursday show. Let's see. Thursday or Friday. What is – yeah, I'll probably do one tomorrow. I'll probably get in the show tomorrow. There's some good bets tomorrow. So I'm not going to do a parlay of the day today. I'll do it tomorrow. The <laughs> – Today's show, before we get into uh, the World Series today, so sponsored by Mark Thiessen at Thiessen Law Firm, the Texas Trial Attorney.com. Guys, there's nobody better. It's, I mean, it's that simple. Go to the Texas Trial Attorney.com, 713-864-9000. Get in touch with Mark Thiessen. Any questions you have, get in touch with Thiessen Law Firm over there, 713-864-9000. Also, Wesley Butler, Butler CCS, INC, fire, water, mold. Buddy of mine just had a fire in his roof called Wes. Wes gets over there, gets everything done for them. Dude, he is a one-stop shop. If you have anything, roofing, mold, fire, water damage, go to Butler CCS on any social media outlets. Call Wes over there. He will get you taken care of. And, of course, as always, Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill. Uh, I just saw they have a Halloween dog costume contest, and uh, I think the winner get well, I don't want to say it. It's a lot. Go to Christmastailgate.com, find one near you, get over to Christmas Tailgate, watch the games. They've got goat yoga, dog costumes. They Man, everybody goes in. They've got a Bill's Mafia bar. They've got uh, college sports going on on Saturdays, drink specials. Unbelievable place. Always an event going on. Uh, I think they even have karaoke on Friday and Saturday nights at some locations. Christmastailgate.com, find one near you. Go get your drink on. World Series starts in a few days. Who you got? This is the matchup I told you was coming. I think everybody knew this was coming. It starts on Friday. Yankees at the Dodgers. Garrett Cole starts for the Yankees. We don't know who's starting for the Dodgers as of now. Um, uh, I got to say Dodgers. I, I, You know, the Yankees are there. I just, Dodgers are good. They're really, really good, really talented on both ends. I think they have a better bullpen, which in World Series games and, and playoff games, it means a lot. My hope for this is go seven. Baseball wanted this, right? This may be the highest rating World Series of all time when you count in worldwide because the Japan, the people in Japan watching Shohei are going to be unbelievable. So I, I just – I, this will be the, the ratings will be through the roof on this one, and this will be a test to see, you know, how high it can go. I guess the question everybody's asking themselves now about this Yankees Dodgers World Series is: it, should you put a cap in baseball, right, a, a salary cap? Because these are the two top payrolls in baseball, and of course they met up in the World Series. You've got superstars galore in this World Series. It's it's going to be phenomenal. I'm excited about it. Don't get me wrong. Look, if it was going to happen, I, you know, <laughs> I'm okay with the Yankees and Dodgers. I would have been okay with Dodgers. I would have been okay with Yankees and Mets, too. That would have been fun to watch. Baseball wanted this. Baseball got it. It starts on Friday. What else starts today? National Basketball Association. That's right. The NBA games kick off tonight. Um, I won't be watching. I, I think Boston's favored, right, for the East. Uh, I don't know who's favored in the West, but we'll see. There's there's two games tonight. Knicks at the Celtics and Timberwolves at the Lakers, and we all know what everybody's waiting Not what everybody's waiting on, but what L.A. and LeBron's waiting on. Him and his son playing together tonight in L.A. Opening night in Boston, opening night in L.A. All the other games will get kicking on Wednesday. It looks like, I mean, 
by the time Thursday comes around, I think every team will have started. But opening night in the NBA starts tonight. Um, I don't know. Has TNT got one of these games? <laughs> that sounds weird. Yes, they do. They got both of them. There you go. So a lot of people will be watching Shaq and Charles and Kenny uh, go at it tonight uh, on TNT for the Knicks Celtics and then Timberwolves Lakers. Those guys are great. Uh, a lot of people watch just for them. So uh, I don't mind that at all. Other than that, we'll talk about the NCAA football tomorrow. Running short on time. I got to thank Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill. Once again, go to Christian'sTailgate.com. Thiessen Law Firm, thetexastrialattorney.com, 713-864-9000. And, of course, Wesley Butler at Butler CCS Incorporated. Uh, guys, we'll have a great show for you tomorrow. Thank you for listening. If you missed anything, podcast version coming up. I'll have it streaming right after this. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm out of here. See you tomorrow.